Alrighty, what is up party people? Welcome back to some Dyson Sphere program. First, uh, a little apology, not for the like one second we ran over there. Uh, for last night, I may have had a nap and then may have woken up a little bit too late to start streaming. So I ended up playing games with some friends whose birthday it was. Um, so yeah, we didn't get any more Dyson Sphere program last night, unfortunately, uh, but we are back now. We are back into the game now, and where were we? Oh yeah, this ever-present battle, ever-present battle with uh, turbo motors. But honestly, they're probably going to have to go off-world fairly soon because reasons. Uh, where was our research up to? We are up to the old high-strength glass, and we're going for lightweight materials so we can start doing sat band I gotcha I know where I am now ish more or less why have I got a interstellar logistics hub and nine what was the interstellar logistics hub for oh it was because I wanted to do these elsewhere and I was thinking about doing that but the super magnets But I ended up not doing that because reasons. Are you actually running consistently now? Pretty much. It does seem to be keeping up if it's splitting 50-50 with it. Although it's not actually splitting 50-50 with it. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Uh, this time we we need to go to the other planet. How am I doing for fuel cells? I actually need fuel cells because I don't have many fuel cells. And you're not making any because you don't have any titanium. Yeah, that's uh, that's a shitter. Uh, I do have a box full of titanium though. Let's grab those. And this will start making me... Stacks worth? Hydrogen fuel cells? Do you believe that's like... 200? So, you know fairly even trade there. It should start to use some of this hydrogen up. We still have way more than we need there at the moment. Um, but our current bottleneck is... Orange is running as fast as it can, right? No. We have these ones not running, so we need more of whatever this is. Which I have a feeling is titanium crystals. Yeah, of course it's titanium crystals. It's always titanium crystals. So we need to get rid of these and put some more organics in. How are we doing for power before I strip out all of my power? 85 megawatts. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, so I need some chem labs. Uh, which we're actually struggling for glass with. Yeah, we, we need more glass. Where is the old glass? I want to say it's over here because we're making prisms with it over here. Yes. What not need in my inventory that I have? I mean, I don't really have much space in my inventory anyway, but. That is just a minor thing. Let's get some more plasma exciters and then I'll go drop these wind turbines back which were here. Because at the moment we don't really need to be carrying them around in my inventory. Everything else, sure, I'll keep. But yeah, we don't need those for the moment. Uh, with more glass acquired, let's get ourselves another two. So that'll be hopefully enough to keep this guy running. Oh wait, that's not running because of are you literally at the same limit as plastic? Yeah, so whatever we do here, we'll have to do to plastic too. Which is over here. Because it's one to one ratio on these, I believe. That's ten, uh, 20 a minute and that's 20 a minute, yeah. I uh, understand that. I remember. Uh, you are in the right place? Yes. It's so funny that it just fits in that corner. Nowhere else. Nowhere else at all, just there. I don't have any belts either. 
Shit. But no, how is everyone doing today? Welcome, James. Hopefully you are doing well. Hopefully all is okay with you. One other thing I completely forgot to mention. Also, we're out of carbon. Shit. Uh, we need to do more carbon. One thing I forgot to mention is I have uh, started the upload of last night's stream to both YouTube and Twitch. It's highlighted properly. So that will go up on the YouTube that basically reactivated last night and got going. I'm trying to decide what to play. What are the options today? You saw the first two videos on YouTube, yeah. Some of them weren't YouTube appropriate, at least weren't public appropriate for YouTube, so I had to get rid of those, but the other ones did go up. Yes, for YouTube. So yeah, the the clip the highlighted ones will be up tonight when they're finished processing. They're finished they're processing at the moment, but they might take a while because it's like twenty one gig of, of data, so yeah, it might take a little while to process, but how are you doing today, Ed? Hopefully you are doing well. Hopefully work is going okay. We are back on the old Dyson Sphere program. Uh, trying to sort out crystal production. Oh, well, titanium crystal production, which we'll need to do crystal production first and then move on to more and better stuff. But I need more belts first, I believe. Before I do... Yeah, we're, we're out. But snowing here who yeah it's been it's been on and off snowing here today it's there's like flurries on the wind but nothing nothing concrete so that's nice not a special especially a big fan of having I mean, too much snow I mean I like dusting here and there fine but after that it just gets tiresome I always find it well unless you're skiing or something like that Oh yeah, this is... So we'll get two stacks of those belts. Uh, I'm actually just going to delete that water, because water is infinite. And then... Get two stacks of those belts. Just carry a couple around, because our inventory size is really small still, so I really need to be careful about it. It's 20 degrees C here. Fucking hell. Alright, Florida, man. Go and go and uh oh I I don't know whether anyone saw it. There was a great meme last night that was um Excal Ex I don't know how you pronounce Excalagator. What a uh, Florida man hat pulls from the falls from the lake to become king. And it was just a knife in the top of the alligator's skull. A, a live one, like fully alive, fully fully living. It's like yeah, excalagator. Pull it from the uh, pull it from the lake. Jesus Christ! And uh, so what you're saying is you power slid a uh, semi. Is is that what I'm hearing right now? Just a cheeky little power slide. It's supposed to get 24. Fuck my life. That is that's a lot of sl snow. That is a lot of snow. Uh, you can get upgraded too. And then we can add more furnaces down to get this going again, because the current problem is the carbon bottleneck, which means these aren't actually producing... Oh no, these are producing continuously. Maybe I'm just talking shit. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time, but... Uh, we'll add eight more here. How many is that going to take our total up to? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. We'll do 12. We'll do 12 in total. Oh yeah, I, I also added the stay hydrated weasel command on Nightbot, so hopefully I remember to keep drinking water, not, not uh, the delicious brown gravel water that I have been drinking. Just wing ah a bit of both, a, 
bit of both, really. Um, so, kind of at the moment, it's half ratios and half winging it. As I get deeper into the game, it gets more into actual ratioing it. Kind of when I start setting things up, uh, dedicated things up, so if I go over to a different planet, I'll 100% do ratios. At the moment, because it's kind of building on the back of systems that have been around for a long time, it's more, yeah, I'll just wing it. I will just wing it at the moment. Uh, I don't believe I can make them, though. So how's Carbon doing? Because you are 2 to 1, so you can support 15 at the moment, and we have 20, so those will never run. Uh, we could probably go faster though. Oh, we don't have enough inventory space? Damn. Okay. Looks like we're short on red again. It's funny how we go through shortages of each different colour at a time. Like, oh yeah, now you're short on red. Now you're short on blue. Now you're short on red. Eventually I will fix the, the throughput issues, but that'll be when I invent purple. So, we'll get there. We will get there eventually. That's fine. That is all good now. Yes. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So carbon coming through at the maximum possible rate, which means this is all backed up now. So we can do more plastic if we need to, which means we can do more crystals, which means we can do more titanium crystals. I do believe... I need another one because you're 15 and you're 10. We have 80 and we're consuming 90. Yeah, okay. So we need four more labs. As you can see, there's starting to be a bit of a bit of ratioing actually creeping into this. Uh, whereas at the start, I just put down two of everything and it was kind of build until it backs up. Uh, but now it is definitely in the in the realm of ratioing it. I mean, not to say that these are the permanent setups or anything like that, but yeah, now it now it's sort of sort of past simple slap it down because at the end of the day, it is oh, core energy will deplete soon. Shit. Um. Yeah, at the end of the day. It's all about ratios, like, whether you want it to be or not, it's about ratios. So, it, it's better too, I think. Just, just to improve your own efficiency, really. Pardon I me. Mean. And now we should have some hydrogen cells. Yes, we do. Um, I should have a charging point here. Four point seven gigajoules. Nice. So try and recharge ourselves a little bit. And then once we're charged back up, we'll uh, we'll go and do some more stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those where I, I don't like doing it at the start because I can't really afford to run it. But as soon as it gets to sort of mid to late game. It just has to. You just have to because, like, oh, this is starved. Why is this starved? Oh, I need X, Y, Z. I guess I'll go do that. And then it's just like, oh, I should have just ratioed this. But here's the perfect example of it. Over, over here, none of this is ratioed. None of this is ratioed whatsoever. And then we end up with this like a little abomination just to try and get it to to work properly. <clears throat> Because I'll need to put more 
for more electromagnets on that, which means I need more magnets, and then there's no space to put any magnets, so... Sometimes it's easier just to start fresh on a different planet and then just build it up. Sometimes, not always, but, you know. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And we need to finish off this. This was what we were doing before. I was so rudely interrupted by my own lack of energy. I don't know, who'd have thought that uh, streaming for eight hours in a row was uh, was draining? Which is, uh, yeah, which is why I had a little nap and I was like, oh yeah, I'll just just have a little nap. Um, I said to my girlfriend, yeah, wait, wake me up in like an hour and she fell asleep as well. So waking up didn't go didn't go too well. And it it was it wasn't too bad, like it was one of those where yeah, I probably still could have streamed, but I'd have started at like 10, 30, 11, and then finished at 1, so generally don't like to stream for less than <coughs> pardon me. I don't like to stream for less than that plastic going? Um, for less than like three hours or so. Mainly because you, you can't get everyone in. Like, it does usually take people a bit of time to get in, so give everyone a, a fair and equal chance to get through. Always the best way I find. Let's go for that one. And that one. There should be fuel coming through nice and quickly. Are you always trying to keep that one full? No. Oh, hello. What the fuck? Why is that not... Oh, are you... This doesn't seem to be going at full rate. <clears throat> there we are. Yeah, I think it just hadn't upgraded the centre one, which is weird. Doing really. I've actually been really enjoying Company of Two. I don't know why. I. Confession time, I've never played Company of Heroes. Sorry, not sorry. I know I have it, I got it when it was free I believe, but never actually never actually picked it up and played it. Maybe I should one day. Also we are going up nicely on this, we're actually starting to back up on red. <clears throat> Squad of strategy done a war, yeah. Not to say I wouldn't enjoy it or anything, but yeah it's just one of those where I never got it, I think it was on epic, I think it was on epic. Got it and then just never never actually got around to playing it. Also this is now in the wrong place because I kind of want this to go north and south and then have more reds coming in because red is clearly the one we're producing at just the right rate. <clears throat> there's Solaris with the boys at some point when the deal up. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm really excited to see what uh, it all brings in. I was reading a little bit more of it and one of the big like announced features is becoming the custodian of the galaxy so before you just became the senate and now you can become the galactic custodian and you actually get like new responsibilities and things like that which is pretty cool uh, my only worry is that it's not going to really change what people do because when people get to the becoming the end game crisis themselves they can usually beat the entire galaxy hands down so you know, maybe maybe they'll change the balance of it so it's harder to become the endgame crisis. I don't know, but I'm intrigued either way. Intrigued as to what it'll do because I really do like Stellaris. Stellaris is a great game. 
if you have not checked out Solaris, I would highly recommend having a look at it. Maybe not even playing it, but have a look at it. It's grand strategy from Paradox, and they do grand strategy pretty well. Can no Jenny Goon Crisis? Ah, that'd be interesting. Like, especially if you want them to just take the other, other like major empire out. So it's you and like another empire with some fragmentation states in between. Notice them at the other one, get them to destroy it, and then be like, "Oh no, I guess I'm the end game crisis now." Uh, I need more magnets. Stellaris. In fact, James. James, can you uh, can you type Stellaris in? In fact, yeah, he's got it in his message at uh, two, three messages up. Stellaris. It is. Uh, like I say, it's a grand strategy game. So if you've seen any of the. Europa Universalis or the other ones from Paradox. It's along a similar theme or um, Hearts of Iron. It's similar to that in terms of actual idea like you conquer XYZ. The the big difference is it's, it's a lot more, I think, more lightweight than those to its benefits. Like you focus less less on the micro and you can do a lot more. Personally, at least. So, and space, so, more trouble. Galactic scale, yes. And you also get to do a, a sheave and yell, I am the Senate, which is always fun. Ten out of ten would recommend. Hey, thank you so much for the Prime subscription, really do appreciate that, Ed. I really need to sort my alerts out so they work properly. Or actually, I have no idea whether it's playing. If it's playing a song now, then that's the alert, but I, I can't do anything to it. Um, as I've said before, it's it's a weird one. They stopped the software, but they didn't they didn't close. So it still all technically works, but I have no control over it. So it's how I last left it. And I, uh, I could, I could and probably should migrate everything oh no no um, could and probably should migrate everything over to a different service but I don't know it take too much time uh no it wouldn't it would actually be quite easy to do but oh I'm full full of iron ore shit so just in fact I do I care about deleting a couple of wind turbines at this point? I can make loads of wind turbines. Uh, how am I doing for belts? I do not want to delete belts. Well, it's actually worthwhile. Well, yeah, thank you so much for that. Like I said, really, really do appreciate it. It does mean a lot that you would consider using your prime here. This uh, pokey little corner of the internet. Uh get rid of that one, I think. 40 iron ore. Oh, no, 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 no. Got it. So, iron. How is this even going? This one needs to go down to there. This one will probably need to be split again, because this is balancing these two lines coming in, so yeah, we want to split this, um, because the new split will go towards the magnets that I'm just about to put down, to make you more of them. Looks interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's... I, I'd i heard of it before, my, my brother plays a lot of grand strategy games, like a lot. Other than being near pro at CSGO, he plays a lot of grand strategy games, which is a weird combination. Um, <laughs> yeah, he um, he like suggested it to me, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up and play it at some point, you know, some point in the near future. TM never did, never did anything with it. Um, and then a friend of mine, uh, Commander Clueless streamer, he was like, oh yeah, I can play this, and I was like, ah, okay, sure. 
run Ascension Perk to knock off all subfuge. Yeah, yeah, I, as I was saying to him uh, yesterday, because we were actually talking about uh, this new DLC, saying that I don't want it to be permanent, I, I want the option to opt into it, I want to either be able to go, yeah, I want to be sneaky stealthy boys, or I, I just don't. I, I want to completely remove subterfuge, it's completely optional, completely opt in, you don't get anything from not doing it, but if you choose to be sneaky stealthy, you can have a lot of benefits, you can wreck face, but it shouldn't, it should neither be compulsory nor essential. Um, because the, let's be honest, the AI is not going to do it well at it. The AI will struggle to really exploit it the way that players will. So, you have to balance it around, not necessarily a stupid AI, but around AI. Which, inevitably, won't be the brightest stars in the shed. Um, I want to go one more over, that's why I'm moving this. Ugh, gross. Oh. That should be enough space now. And then we'll grab that. Because I always forget to copy and paste them until I'm rebuilding them. Um, but yeah, it, I don't I don't necessarily think it's essential that it's balanced around the AI because, you know, it's a player game first. But if the AI can't do anything against you, then, you know, you'll beat the AI just because you can steal their text the whole time. But at the same time, you know, you might go, oh, I'm, I'm going to do a no AI run, and you should still have the option to to play equally as well. Who knows? Who knows how they'll balance it? Who knows what they'll be going? Because I'm sure they've already got their own vision of what they want from it, so I hope it aligns with, with what I, I'd like to see. I don't mind if it's... Yeah. Oh my god, come on, come on, you stupid thing. The the other like big one is for not even for like players say like us that kind of know what they're doing. Basic players may not or like new players may not want to dive into it straight away and suddenly you overload them with like six more systems that that they just don't understand. You have to have enough complexity to keep regular players happy and make it simple enough that anyone can pick it up. And I think that'll be the, the really tricky balance to have because depth and simplicity are usually kind of don't go hand in hand, but they balance synthetics. Balance ring worlds as well. Ring is so strong. I, but origins were good. I did like origins. What they did about? Yeah. Indeed. I mean, just a general balance patch. But I guess that's again. It, it go. If you're adding new systems, you kind of need to see how the new systems affect it before you start throwing random balancing around. We'll see. Ringworld start. Ringworld start. Ringworlds aren't necessarily very particularly strong in the grand scheme of the game, but the Ringworld start is because you you get a oh my god this twenty minutes goes so quickly. But maybe I should just be drinking loads. Maybe that's the thing. So electromagnets, we need more of. Oh, we we done purple as well now. Yeah, yeah, it is. It definitely is. They are still hilariously strong though. I don't have any space to make any more magnet rings, so I'd need to go and throw some over here or something, which not exactly easy to do. Could I get a... if I could get a splitter in there, I could do it pretty easily because it could come in and then send it. But I'd need to move the iron line back. 
which the spaghetti mess isn't exactly going to be easy. Especially with the AI star. Uh, fuck. How am I going to do this? I think I should rebuild it too. But I think what I'm actually going to do is just build something else elsewhere. Uh, how far am I off warping? Because what I think the ease the easier option, TM, is uh, three mecha core level three, which is what we'd be doing next. So we'll go for warping drive engine because I want to go find a lava planet and make it on a lava planet. I think it's just easier to do it that way than try and fudge all the stuff here. Can cue that key full. Yeah. Planetary logistics. I mean, that's the problem with this current uh, planet. I only have, only, only have two million iron ore. So, I have more iron ore over here, but I don't have any copper. And over here, I don't have much copper either. So, I kind of need to go and find a, a rich copper iron planet and start making... Um, Super magnets there. I'll need to export coal to it, but that's not a problem. Knocks off. Yeah, it is. It is. But it, they, they really need to solidify them as playing tall, not wide. Really, really need to solidify them. Okay, so having seen how far I'm off warpers, I'm just gonna build a, build a bigger setup. So. Where would we build it? Is the big question. I mean, is it slowing down much? It's not actually slowing down my research, and it has just backed itself up. Fuck. Looks like we need more orange logistics drone capacity. Is the new tool faction okay? See, I like I say, I haven't, I haven't looked too much at necros because. I wasn't sure whether I was going to get it, so I, I didn't didn't spend loads of time looking at them. Ooh, why this part are? Uh, electricity. And literally the only purpose of this burner is just to keep hydrogen being produced occasionally. Through oil. That's all it does. All it does. Just a little, a little tick of it every now and again. And we want two stacks of three. We need more circuit boards. Uh, the Necromongers? Is that from... Is that the one you mean from Riddick? Yeah. I mean, it would make sense with a name like that, really. It's hard to... Uh, hard to say you're a nation of uh, peace and happiness when you've got a name like Necromonger. You know, may maybe they're the happy jolly faction, you never know. Necro might mean happy in their, their language. Same time tomorrow, uh, questionably... So weekends are a little bit odd, especially during, during this season, um, because I tend to watch League of Legends. I know I'm a sad bastard like that. Um, but yeah, I tend to watch League of Legends, so sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm not on Saturdays. Um, there's a rough schedule in the channel schedule that I pretty, really should follow, but I kind of don't. Um, so yeah, it, weekends are a bit of a weird one. Bit of a weird one. Um, but if I do play something, it will generally be community games, so uh, things that other people can play, like my real-life friends can play, or things like that. So... Yeah, I mean the, the schedule is sadly extremely accurate. Yeah, I mean you promise bitter disappointment, and you're never disappointed with that. When everything's bitter disappointment, nothing is like War Thunder. No, I mean I, I was doing a community suggestion one, but the problem was that I kept on running, like getting to the end of the game. So it's like, oh shit, I don't know what to play now, but I'm saying I'm playing it. So yes.
I mean, I can't play War Thunder because I don't have it installed. Which is just the best excuse ever, I find. Like, just uninstall something and then you don't need to worry about playing it. That, that's big brain right there. It's one button away. It's one button and like 40 gigs though, is the thing. You know? So... I mean, I, I could call it, but... Again, I, I play like three games and I immediately hate it. You sit on one gig internet. Well, fuck you. I mean, my internet's good. It, it would be like an hour, but it's it's still the principle of it more than anything. Like, it's just not enjoying it is the big one. I'm just straight up not having a good time. Well, I mean, yeah, it's all good and well having one gig if you don't have the storage space to put it on. Uh, I need to, if I'm doubling these, I need to double plastic as well. Shit. And I don't have enough... Glass. Always glass at the moment. Hey, Hans! Thank you so much for the subscription, really do appreciate that, buddy. Welcome to the stream of 14 months. Being a Weasel that is capable of streaming and tactical choices, I, I would I would not go that far. Tactical choices are not known here. I mean, there's a great moment from yesterday's stream where I legitimately spent 20 minutes sorting something out and then immediately destroyed it 20 times. It was great. Great. Now, how the devil are you, man? How is work? Hopefully going well. Average is 700. My average download speed is a little bit less than that. Just just a little bit of like 70. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. I mean, it's like 70 up, 20 down. But, you know, it's not quite gig internet. I mean, I could get gig internet, but it would be like, no word of a lie, four or five hundred pounds a month. So, seven hundred-ish dollars a month for internet. Which is not cheap. Is not cheap at all. Unfortunately. Yeah, it sounds like a weasel thing to do. I, uh, huge fraud. Huge fraud. Not uh, not living up to the name of being tactical at all. It, in my defence, it was after like eight hours of streaming. I was, I think it was seven and a half hours in, and I was just like, I'm getting a little bit cooked now. I should probably stop. But I also want to finish this, so I finished like what I'm doing. And yeah, I probably, probably shouldn't. Have, I probably should have just gone with the yeah, stop. Just quit while you're ahead. You know. Don't don't push for that extra extra hill. It was not worth it. it. Was not worth it at all. Set up me. And that's the final sorted. Work is with now. I finish early on Friday, so no work until Tuesday. Ah, oh, you got Monday off, or is it bank holiday? I I've been doing well. I've been doing well. Um, just streaming more of this basically. Had a couple of days off in the middle of the week for friends' birthdays. The same person that I was playing with last night, but their birthday. Oh, oh okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. <clears throat> Ugh, pardon me. Okay, more plastic being made, more crystals being made, which means more titanium is being made. And then more is made means more orange is being made, which means faster research. I mean, they all are actually running at the moment, which is good. So, yay, happy times. Um, burn off that oil for me, please. Yeah, oh my god. That was always... Well, when, when sucks around. He's actually a big boy working now, which is a nice change for him. 
Um, but yeah, he's he's actually James. He's actually a James. So whenever I I, I say Mr. James, he's always like, huh? But I think he's I think he's got there now. Realize that he is Stark. He will always be Stark, regardless of what his actual Twitch name is. I I I think I said it. He changed his name because of a, a bet, basically. He wouldn't change his name to Captain Yeet, so he did. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a lot of uh, marks too. Hopefully, uh, there's some different spellings and some nationalities involved, so it doesn't get too bad there. Um, what am I doing next? So I need to do purple. And for purple, I need processors, which we've got, and fiber or particle broadband, which I need to make crystals for. I'll need plastic, and I'll need nanotubes. So fiber broadband, we can make up here because we're making the nanotubes down here, and the plastics. Oh, solar sail orbit, lovely. I'm flying through these decks at the moment. Communication control, yep. Yup. Yup. Do all of those for the moment. Cargo storage stacking, logistics carrier engine, drone flight speed, vein utilization. It will be the next one we do. Um, so yeah, plastic. We will need to come down here. We've got the nanos. And what was the other one for fiber broadband? The crystal, silicon crystal. So if I put a request on this for... In fact, I'm probably better doing silicon crystals from. There's no point bringing silicon crystals over just to smelt silicon crystals. We might as well just have it making silicon crystals for us. And I'm going to say silicon crystals quite a lot. So, uh, apologies for the uh, huge amount of repetition through that. So, yeah, we will do. When I go next to space to sort out the planets. Oh, I think it's just the one planet, actually. Yeah, it's just the one planet. It's uh, number three in our solar system. Also, we are nearly out of soil pile. So I need to go and grab a bunch of soil pile when I do stuff. Uh, so yeah, we've got nanotubes. What do I make particle broadband in? I make it in a replicator. That's not too much of an issue. Although it has... Oh, that is an issue though. We're out of power. Um, I should probably write down particle broadband or I'm not going to not going to remember to go and sort it out. Uh, so power, where do I want to go? Oh yeah, all of our solar panels over there are offline. I don't have the... Shit. Where am I even going? Uh, I'm going over here, aren't I? Because I do not have the landfill, which I should probably grab while I'm over here, I'm going to have to do wind turbines. So let's put down a bunch of wind turbines. Uh, landfill is over here. Oh, sorry. Land tile thingies are over here. Um, because, yeah, I'll need need landmass to put them down, and I don't have any at the moment. So, if we do wind turbines at the moment, I should probably land as well instead of wasting all my power. But what's your plan for the weekend, Hans? Do you have any plans for Valentine's Day. Too close to another wind turbine. Are you uh, doing something special? Having a special uh, Skype call or Discord call or general call? Or just uh, a bit of a chill. And what is everyone else's plans for it? Do you do you celebrate it? Do you do anything for it? Is Pamela your uh, best friend? Pamela Henderson, that is. It's spinning nice. Do you know what movie you've got planned for? Or is it just uh, what you fancy at the time? Too close to another line. Getting a little bit of soil from this. Not really much, but a little bit is enough to keep us keep us going. If we had a Gobi planet, would be pretty good, but no such luck yet. <clears throat> I'm 
Eh, that's fair enough. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. I was actually saying the other day I have not seen have not watched them in, in a bit too long actually. Not watched them in a bit too long. But it's finding time. It's finding time to watch all six. It's always the tricky bit. <clears throat> Pardon me. Maybe over the weekend. Uh, how are we doing? 93 megawatts. Entirely renewables as well. I mean, I could go up to Microfusion to two. It would not be too much of a, an issue to do Microfusion plants. The Deuterium would be an issue, and I did say I was going to set up Deuterium. And I have not done that yet. Lack of item. Okay. What does that take us up to? Yeah, 90, 94 is not bad. We'll have a little bit of variance due to solar panels, so it'll go up and down, but that's fine. That is all fine. And then over here, we need to put down the replicators, and they need three ingredients, so it's a 2 2 setup, which will be one, two. And then I'll need to work on the ratios and everything like that, because this is going to be all over the place. Five broadband outs. And then one. Two. Sorted. Just need to finish connecting all of these up. Then I'll probably need to backtrack and work out ratios and things like that, but it'll be fine, right? Do I want to put down another logistics hub? I kind of do. I kind of want to put a logistics hub here to export fiber broadband because it's got to go all the way over here, basically, to be made into purple. So if we set up purple over here, maybe? fly it that way. What could possibly go wrong? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, nothing. I imagine nothing will go wrong. Fam very, very famous last words. Very, very famous last words. Everything that can go wrong will. So, uh, that is the law. Murphy's law? believe. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. Sell a logistics hub. Leave the top space available. We'll say silicon crystals, local storage, remote demand, or request. 2k of those. Drones. Spaceships. Sort that. And then this also needed plastic. So this will be the crystals coming in, and then actually we'll say supply particle broadband out, which will be local supply, remote supply, and we'll say 2k there. 2k is probably way, 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 way more than we need, but... Meh. It's fine. We can uh, have a little bit of a backlog going. What's this? Uh, you'll be... no, that one out. And then we need to bring plastic down to here. Which is going to be fun. Because plastic is an absolute trek away. Okay, that's crystals coming down. Oh my god, Nightbot, chill. Fucking hell. Uh, plastic is so crystals are backed up now, which is cool. So is orange. Damn. Okay, it's just taking a long time to do them. I think. I believe. It's flashing, saying you're not getting materials. No, you're just taking a long time to do. I think. 
Yeah. Oh, power. That's why. Ew. Insufficient power supply. Get another 20 turbines. Uh, spread our turbine influence over this way. Holy shit! Thank you so much for the five gifted subscription, Ed. Really, really do appreciate that, buddy. Really, really do appreciate that, man. Holy fuck. So, Legion, Bry, Clean Biscuit, Sinless Moon, and Exile. Enjoy your gifted subs. But yeah, really, really thank you. Thank you so much for that, man. Do appreciate it. Never, never required, but always very, very much appreciated. Ah, oh, diggity damn. I mean, that's a name I have, one name I have not seen in a long time, Clean Biscuit. Used to be... Actually, when I played a lot of RimWorld, when I was very, very close to when I started, there was a streamer called Bloody Drongo. Australian streamer, surprisingly, with a name like that. Um, who who raided me, and basically I, I stopped playing RimWorld quite a way ago, but he continued playing it, and he's now a, basically a RimWorld streamer. It's funny how funny how uh, how it goes, really, but but yeah. Nice to see the nice to see the name again. And how are we doing for power now? I mean, it's gone. Oh, oh! All the demand has dropped off. Literally, as soon as I started placing more wind turbines, all of the demand has dropped off. But yeah, he he was a guy from the uh, that community. So had not seen the name in a while. Blue going well. Red, yellow, looking good. So it's just this purple. So the fiber broadband. The processes we're already making, but I have a feeling. As soon as I start using them up permanently, we're not going to be supplying anywhere near enough. So I'll have to work on that. Bunch of, a bunch of... I appreciate it, man. I really do appreciate it. Like, uh... Required. I'd be doing this anyway. Even if people weren't supporting it. Because I, I kind of enjoy it from time to time, you know? It's a good thing to kill time. But yeah, it's it's funny how you can you can go through like stream after stream after stream and not find not find anything that really like tickles your fancy, which is such a British phrase. But um, yeah, find find that anything that's like up your alley, and then all of a sudden you you find just so many things. I mean, who is it? I mean, I, I guess that's Commander Clueless as well. He's um, and Merrick actually, and then. So, the little logo you see up here, this is some of the friends while streaming, who we, we, we all um, sort of formed a stream team. Stream teams are, really aren't much of a thing, because, you know, some, some of them struggle to stream because of real commitments, but yeah, it, I knew Clueless through a group called TSAN, Twitch Streaming and Networking, which, you know, was a thing, but doesn't really a thing anymore. Um, but yeah, I met him through there, and it was just like, oh, this is just an, an oyster of like people that people that I enjoy, uh, well, enjoy talking to and enjoy watching as streamers. So yeah, uh, that is the, the little group of I think there's like six of us that stream regularly now out of like twenty, but you know, is what it is. Life happens. I mean, I, I did speak to Clueless the other day. He is uh, a little bit bogged under with work. A little bit bogged under. Some some big scale fuck ups happened at his company, so he's been he's been wrestling with those. But he's a uh, I guess I guess you'd call it an expat. He's a a British guy living in Germany with an Italian wife. He stayed over there when he was in the military, and wife and has some kids there now. But yeah, he's a great streamer. If you get the chance to check him out, you can uh, find him over. Is it that? I think. There we go. I think that's how. Because he changed his. Yeah, there we are, Commander. Because it was CMD for a while, and then he changed it to Commander. But he's a great streamer as well. Plays quite a lot of the same things as I do, and is equally as inept at times. Yeah, yeah. 
Exactly. Exactly. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of languages for his kids to learn. They, I mean, they primarily speak German, but... Yeah. It's, it's funny how... How you new know, relationships form like that. That he'd meet an Italian woman in Germany. But as long as he's happy, right? That's the main thing. Okay, so we have everything for fiber broadband except for these green crystals. So I'm going to need to go over to my other planet, but I do want to set up the landing side stuff. So we've got the crystal, the crystals. We've got the uh, coming down here, and they go in just like the most abomination way around possible. But yeah. Which you suffer when you play War Thunder. Everyone suffers when war when you play War Thunder. Everyone suffers when you play War Thunder. Not necessarily you in particular, but when people play War Thunder, everyone is suffering. War, war Thunder is suffering. No premium boys. Yeah. I remember the time when I had a premium account. I was like, oh yeah, this is the best thing ever. I can ease the grind, and then I realized that I wasn't really easing anything. Because I still had to grind just so much because that game is just pain pain and grinding uh, 10 of those 10 of those which I need more super motors for I did want to set up making drones I remember now but I wanted to do it with a separate logistics hub so I'd need to go and sort that out uh, 10 of those and then one of those which needs more titanium. Uh, steel. Titanium alloy. Which needs more gas. Or particles as they should actually be called. But I always call them gas. And then remember I'm supposed to be calling them particles and call them gas anyway. Because winning. I didn't even notice if you I know. Yeah, yeah. Pain. Pain in existence and existence in pain. Uh this is gonna struggle, actually. This one is gonna struggle to get supplied because there's not gonna be enough space there unless I mix that up and went up and down. Yeah, I think that's the easiest way to do it. Although... Mm, that corner needs to be elevated. Can I get that elevated in that space? I don't don't think I can. No, and uh, yeah, yeah, fine. Again, it's an abomination, but it's a functional abomination. That's what we need. Also, the warper engine now. I will need to make warpers for that. So I'll need to make myself graviton lenses, which I don't believe I'm actually making. I don't think I have researching either. Uh, I did want to put vein utilization on reduce the uh, consumption of ores, and then we'll go back to technologies, which will be strange matter. Uh, with strange matter, we can do gravitational refraction. Ref yeah, gravitational wave refraction. I was like, is that reflection? No, it's not reflection, it is refraction. Um, so I wanted to make drones. Drones needed steel and copper, which are both over here. Copper is here. How would I get copper round? I could split it potentially here, which might be difficult because of the other belts around the area, but I'm sure if I was willing enough, I could throw one down. Probably here, actually. It's going to be the best place to do it. Send that again, split copper off there, steel can come off there. That'd be good. And then iron. Yeah, we'll split that one again. So I'll have iron, copper, and steel in this place. Which will take uh, these drones, except I'd need CPUs. And CPUs I'd need to ship in. 
along with doing super motors and titanium to make the logistics vessels. Because if we can make them all automatically, then I don't need to worry about it. Or at least just make thrusters automatically. Um, but that will come once I have made this and got my purple infrastructure up and running. Because purple is the next important thing. Uh, so we need... We do 12. And let me guess, I don't have the... Oh, I have a bit of soil pile. Matrix lab cannot be added. Damn. Hopefully I didn't lose anything there. Would annoy me if, if I lost anything there because of that. How much soil pile? We're not using too much. This is pretty shallow sea, so... That's good. Interstellar Logistics Station can go here. Just enough out of the way that we've got space to build stuff if we need to. And then we need drones. We need 10 logistic ships. And we need to power the fucker. Which is always the, uh, the real battle. Put down a charging hub here as well. Oh, sorry, not a charging hub, but uh, wireless one, which I can use as a charging hub too. But it's not the primary focus of it. And then we've got the... Oh god, that's going a little bit well done. Uh, research. Matrix Labs. Get those coming down. We're out of power again? Yeah, we're up to... Oh, it's because this is charging. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Too close to another wind turbine. Just throw down a few more. I mean, we get l we're getting a little bit of soil power back from these as well. Also, this is getting quite dark now. Although it's only four o'clock, it feels really, really dark. Really, really dark already. Some of the Some of the keys in this music kind of make you sh like, like, uh, no Do you mean the in-game music for this? Because I actually find the music really, really, really chill, really calm, rela really relaxing. So I'd be intrigued as to what's actually triggering. I uh, want to revert that and make purples. We can actually do four stacks now. But I'll stick to three stacks for the moment. Uh, and then you'll be fiber broadband, which will be number two. <laughs> the sun just came up an hour ago. Thank you so much for stopping by, Ed. Hopefully, you have uh, some good, nice, relaxing rest as the sun comes up. And uh, I will uh, see you again sometime soon, possibly over the weekend, depending on, you know, how, what happens really. It's the big one. Oh, I'm out of ones. And thank you again for the gifted subscriptions and the subscriptions. Really, really do appreciate that, man. It does mean a hell of a lot. Make sure I'm actually showing the, the heart as well, instead of, you know, holding it off camera. That would be about appropriate for me. Yeah, League of Legends. Hopefully, hopefully. It's, uh, I mean, it's starting in like an hour, but we'll see. We shall see. Hey, Legion, how's it going, bud? Welcome to the stream today. Hopefully, you're doing well. Uh, do I want that to go around there? Oh, I kind of need this to go an extra two. Otherwise, it's not gonna not gonna be able to get the other ones. To work correctly so keep it on the ground and then come around to here and that'll be connected -ish. <clears throat> uh, the LEC LEC starts in so the League European Championship which is the European top tier League of Legends League which I follow somewhat then you have the LCS, which is the American one, which starts afterwards. 
9 p.m. It's um flat bang when I'd normally be streaming, but yeah, it just depends on uh, how much I actually end up watching. I have vods and everything like that, so it's not as if I part of me have to watch. I can always uh, do the old catch up. Just do watch together. Yeah, do uh, do co-stream. I'm sure I'm sure they'd love that. They actually do do co-streams just of uh, with big streamers. Not a uh, not a little boys. Actually, that sounds very. Really yes. Not with small smaller streamers. There's the old league partner program and things like that. So have to be a certain size to get that. Got another meters a second of movement speed. How are we doing for power? We are really close to the top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah. Let's, uh, let's not. Uh, so, I think that's everything set up that I wanted to do there. The next thing I wanted to do was the drones and logistic ships. Um, do I want to set those up now? I need two sets of of two sets of these to get it going so I might just build those while I go and do it so I need another one which will be harvesting I can also get the gas giant harvesters now if I can make accumulators but the accumulators need the crystals which I'm going to go and do now so yeah we'll we'll do those over here between the coal because we can also throw the coal into the Logistics station and it'll sort them out. Uh, so you'll be requesting fibre broadband. You'll be requesting a thousand of it. Local demand, remote demand. Uh, you'll also be requesting nothing. But we'll save you for doing green ones because you may need to do green around that. Okay, off to space if we have enough power. And we're full on fuel tanks. Okay, we've got two more being made. I set these to be made as well, which I can't actually afford in terms of resources, so that's fun. Uh, a few more. No, it's iron, I think. I need. So we needed to make another 20 of these. And motors. Damn. Sort that out though. And then once it's automatic, I don't need to worry about it, but getting it to the automatic stage is always the, the annoying, time consuming, and tricky bit. So another four of those because I need more, more, more circuit boards. There's the another ten. And then drones, we need more iron, which is here, and then we want 20 drones being made. Yeah, okay, right, let's go sailing to Sierra 3, which is actually on a close approach at the moment. We do have enough power to uh, to sail at a decent rate as well, which is nice. Jesus Christ. More water. So, drive engine 4. I need the mecha warp core 4. But I should focus on getting the technologies down to make green. Uh, there's warpers, warper tech done, I'll need lenses, I need quantum chips, and then I need gravity matri matrices. And with gravity matrices I can make a lot more warpers. Because I've seen people use gravity lenses to make all their warp, and it's really not the way. It's really, really not the way. 100% go for the green. They are so much better at it. Yeah. 
That's sorted, and then... Uh, we can get rid of that. We actually can upgrade this belt as well now. And at 30, uh, I believe it's 2 to 1 on this. Yeah, 2 to 1, so we can get 15 furnaces this running at 100% efficiency with a blue bone, which will be 10, 16. Is it that many? Oh, I'm mistaken. It's 16 on, a, on it, which would be... It's clearly not all running. Let's set up maybe eight, but we actually need to put them onto the correct mode, which will be making crystal silicon. One, two. Oh god! Having a little uh, little moment there with the mouse. And you'll be coming up here. Crystal silicon can go down. There. Like 2k2. We don't need loads of these, but having a little reserve would be still pretty nice. And then, how fast are you even produced? You were doing 30 a second. Oh, sorry, 30 a minute. So you can double that effectively. Still have it running. Let's upgrade that belt too, so that's maximum speed. Only half of those are running at the moment. Are we even doing on that? Eh, slowly, slowly filling up. Not bad. So that needs. Oh, it's one to one, two seconds. Okay, so. You can, in theory, fit 30 on a belt and run at 100% efficiency. Uh, for these, they need... It's two seconds, but you need... Effectively need one a second. So I can still run 30 of those. I think. How many... I haven't got that many smelters, and what about... Yeah, I've got enough sorters. I can just upgrade those to... I mean, I could do something like upgrade those to, to blues, but yeah. How many can I? Oh, I can make loads. Yeah, we'll we'll boost this up then. One, two. So if we go to oh, I actually needed to make 
Well, furnaces before I did that. So we had 16 at the moment. 16, 18, 19, 20. Doing more sort of mark two. We've got to a full belt. I don't know whether the silicon will be able to keep up. Any of the silicon on this planet was over here, which we could still bring down and run through the smelter. It is a little bit of a journey, but should be okay. Power's looking okay too. So that's nice. Yes, we do. So that'd be 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, this would be 60, wouldn't it? Yes, that would be 60. One, uh, <clears throat> 8 per side there, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's the maximum the belt can support. It's just a single furnace array, I believe. I may be wrong. I may be very, very wrong. But that's what I'm led to believe it does. Can I build these yet? Yes, I can. They're going to take a while to build because I would need to make the components for that, but it's so much easier than doing with uh, poles the whole way. So I'd rather rather put them now. And that's something else I need to automate making frame materials. Let's say something else. One of the, the ever expanding lists of things I need to make. <coughs> Pardon me. Who are we? Is uh, deliciously chunky. Are we doing 12 more? Do we need more crystals? Is the question. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those where we need more at the start, but then we don't need any more after that. So I guess we could go up to 20. That's the right way, yeah. Just double checking that there for a second. We could get fractal silicon. If we found a fractal silicon deposit, which is the crystalline form of it, we could go ahead and use those, but yeah, first we'd have to find them. <clears throat> there is the first one. So you can go there. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and that, and that. That's everything running, but we're not making enough silicon. So I probably should go and tap that deposit, which is kind of a long way away. But it is the only other silicon on this body, I believe. We only got like 2 million of it, so. Yeah, it could be interesting. We have plenty of conveyors Mark II. It's just a little way away from it. Uh, you can connect to that. I mean, usually I would slap this down on a logistics, a planetary logistics one, but it feels kind of pointless when it's that close. Although this could be setting this up as a silicon smelter. Who knows? I do tend to prefer drones over long distances as opposed to belts. Maybe it's not the most efficient, maybe it's maybe it's the wrong way to do it, but it's the way I've been doing it, so kind of stick to that. And we'll do it on blue. Looks 
looks like I might just have enough to do that too. that sweet sweet blue button and then I need to connect them up with power and we should be good to go big TM I'll do two just for the safe side with power looks like I screwed that up anyway nice and we'll see ooh, how this affects it because at the moment we currently don't have them all running, so hopefully this will be enough to actually get every single one running. Because we did just empty that of a little bit of silicon. Get in there. One of those where I could put a buffer chest in to accept silicon, so when it's uh, when it needs it, it can run over the maximum production rate, but just put it on a different planet with more silicon. So I think that's now running at maximum production. All of them do seem to be running at least. All of these running. Yeah, they're all doing well. Good. We are also doing okay for titanium for the resource. The only thing is power. We're at 30 megawatt, which, you know, that's not bad. We filled up on crystals now, and so anything else left to do here before we fuck off back to homeland? Sira 2, while well, we're still on a relatively close approach. Oh, I missed the days of being able to accelerate to 2000 without worrying about it. Ah, oh, good old antimatter. Good old antimatter. Uh, so, what are we doing at the moment? The energy will get more fuel quicker out of the fuel. Uh, more energy quicker out of the fuel. Yes. Uh, universal exploration. We don't actually need that yet because we don't have access to the warp engine so no point in researching warp until we've got warp engine and that'll be the gravity matrix once we have the gravity matrix then we can come and talk shop on those two and do we want to start looking at fire ice because fire ice will give us access to more hydrogen. More hydrogen will be more deuterium. And also, uh, it will give us an easier source of graphene. Which we may need plenty more of in a bit. So we'll see on that. Ugh, oh, feels so slow. Also, what the fuck is that? It looks just like a little logistic ship, but... Oh no, it is a logistic ship. The hell are you doing? Oh, it's coming towards me. So maybe it left the planetary field before it tried to go anywhere? That looked very, very weird though. Very, very confusing. And let's go for a superhero landing. Okay, sorted is being made. Excellent. As fast as the particle broadband is coming in, that is. Which does seem to be the hold up of the moment. Along with red. We need more reds. And is that just because of red general production rate? 
Yes, that's because we're struggling with hydrogen. So we need more crackers, x-ray crackers by the looks of things. Yeah, I think we do. And we just need more oil processing in general, really. How many for 100 megawatts? Not bad. You two are running as fast as you can go, though, so that's fine. Uh, ratio 15 a minute, and you use half, so two of those is 30, so we could double that fairly easily without any impact on our nanotubes because nanotubes aren't actually been used for anything else at the moment. They will start to be used in the production of uh, frame parts, the ones that I just said I need to start making. So we will need to increase that at some point. We're also going straight towards a coal vein. Lovely. Lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, titanium crystals are good. Okay, so more x-ray crackers. How is the easiest way to do that? Um, probably start a new setup somewhere. Um, how are we doing for oil? Does it look like we're slowly... 75 a minute. Actually, how much are we using? Because this will actually be a uh, good indicator of how much we're using. Because if we're using more than we're generating, we need to generate more. Crude oil. Yeah, we are losing a little bit of crude oil here. So, where is the nearest seat? There. Actually, that's a really good seat as well. Why did I not tap that before? Probably because I didn't see it. Uh, Minor oil extractor. I need more concrete. So yeah, we'll increase the oil production. Oil production will give us more fuel oil. More fuel oil means we can... Oh, it's over here. Uh, more fuel oil means we can crack more of it to give me hydrogen, and then with the yeah, excess hydrogen we can research reds a little bit faster, and reds will increase our research speed. Simple. Simple, easy steps for a happier factory. Oh, I need more... Need more circuits. How am I doing for... Yeah, just uh, just circuits, by look. By looks of things at the moment. Oh no, I needed green inserters too. Uh, how are we doing for blues? Blue inserters... We've actually got plenty of. That's good. Belts, we could do with some more belts. We're doing for yellow belts, Let's get rid of those. And did I even pick up circuits in the end? I don't have any magnets either. Or any motors. Oh no, I have plenty of motors, never mind. Uh, circuit boards. Sorted. Right, let's go get, get this fuel line set up. And I'm out of fuel. Out of power, sorry. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. How are we doing for power? Uh, we need 114. How are our solar poles doing? Yeah, it's because one's gone offline. Completely offline, and we don't have the kind of backup space in it. Boosted. Yeah, now we're easily keeping up with it. Good. 
Good, good, good. Which will mean we're okay to put more oil refineries down. How much are they even using? 13-ish a minute, but that's because they don't have any power. So what I should do is go and grab some more solar cells. Go put them on the poles. See how many we've actually got. Plenty. The only limit is going to be how much landfill I have to smooth the terrain and kind of cap the pole a little bit better. I'm flying the wrong way. I was like, oh, why am I not getting any close to the pole? Yeah, because you're not flying any, actually flying any. Yes. <sighs> smooth. Smooth moves. So this should be another row and a bit of solar panels. Do I need to do quite this much landfill? Probably, oh uh, sorry, actual foundation? Probably not, but I kind of like the look of tarmacking it all, so that's what's happening. I only have 53k, so I am being a little bit careful with it. But this is the axis. I was uh, seeing people requesting dragging, or, well, blueprints in general, but the other one that would be a nice sort of uh, stopgap in the meantime would be able to drag solar panels and things like that. So if I was dr trying to place multiple ones, I could just uh, drag them round instead of having to individually click, which I think would be, you know, solve some of the headache with placing solar panels, but obviously it's not going to be quite as, quite as good as placing a blueprint down, but there's going to be difficult with the blueprint, but sphere shapes. And the changing grid size, but... I'm sure there is a solution around it. We shall see. How many have I got? 116 left. Too close to the That wasn't in the right place. Perfect. Okay, what's that taking my power up to? 129. So I need to go and do the same at the South Pole now. As if I'm not doing the same at both poles when we have a polar winter. Oh shit. Uh, this will happen. I didn't think it was going to be anywhere near this bad, but it looks like more than half of them go offline. So uh, yeah, that's, that's not ideal. Half your power during the solar winter, so... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll compensate to try and Try and have a few more online. If I soil pile, which doesn't look like I do. None of soil pile. Is there any hill rapidly flatten? That would give me 6k. That'll give me 8k. How much have I even got? I have 1.6k. And I threw it down here. I'll do. 1k, 3k. I have a 
here, could be good. 11k. That's up. 6k there. 15k here. Like I said, go find a Gobi planet and then we'll be fine for soil. Until then, it's a Off to the South Pole again. Via a little, little detour through space. kind of have a spike during the autumn months because we'll get both the north and the south pole running at the same time but the winter is going to be the winter slash summer is the problem because one pole will be completely completely shadowed Eight hundred seconds left of Polar Night. Yay! It is a super, super handy little feature, telling you how long you've got left of darkness. But it makes sense when everything's done on uh, orbital rotations so and things like that. Just easy information to access. About halfway there now. These ones are all in the shade, because they're not illuminated blue like the other one. But yeah, uh, these will all get ripped out when when we start making the Dyson Sphere. Which will make in every system. As I've uh, said before in previous streams, I do think it's better to make a Dyson Sphere in each system. Just because the amount of power you can get is pretty damn good and then you don't need to worry about using miniature suns or fusion plants or anything else just start building your Dyson Sphere use solar wind to get you to that stage and then you're laughing absolutely laughing okay there we are lots of power in fact we have 130 megawatts so hopefully that'll be enough to run this setup but we're about to start so yeah, you're 15 a minute, and we can probably do another hunch, another four. Yeah, I mean, the end goal, right? Be constantly laughing, not maniacal cackling or anything like that. Just like normal casual. You know. We're not, we're not crazy people after all. Well, hope not. Not too crazy. Maybe it is maniacal cackling. Maybe I'm too mad to notice that it is ma maniacal cackling. Go away. And sort of that is our new setup. I am just going to use a little power pot there because it kind of fits nicely. And then uh, the fuel. Hydrogen fuel. Hydrogen. And then it's Hydrogen Fuel. There we are. Doubled our oil production. Effectively. Let's see, wait till this kicks up a, a notch. Oh, yeah. We should.
should see the jump up here now. Or is it just going to be one of these where they all it's doing is flattening the line? 300. It should go up to 360. Should. TM. I may have to look at more oil creep. I've got that one sorted. Vein utilization level 3, excellent. I mean, there is more. There's like three more over here that we can easily tap into to improve it. It's just me space problem. Yeah, 360 out of 390, so that is good. I did the maths correctly for the moment. I mean, the only problem with it is having to crack fuel. We're not making enough fuel to crack properly because we're using it all to be turned into hydrogen to turn into research. And we need much, much more to produce our crystals and our broadband and everything like that. So next step is going to be to build a gas giant tap. And then hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, we'll probably have to put it down here. Oh, I needed to make the accumulator charger first. Energy charger, get that going. Uh, how do we build accumulators? We have the crystals coming in from this one. Let's build the uh, accumulator charging station, basically. Build accumulators automatically, charge them up, then I don't need to worry about it. Uh, so your super magnets, iron, and crystals. So your request, uh, super magnets, which are there. You'll only request like a hundred of them though. Be local demand, remote demand. And then iron, we're actually making iron here. So we can just, I think. the easiest way to do it instead of trying to ship it out elsewhere uh, so transportation collides with other objects let's get rid of those I'll throw this down here you have built a powerful energy exchanger and can use it to quickly fill the accumulator with the surplus electricity in the grid. I mean, you can also release but where's the, the fun in that, right? Stored in the full accumulator Make it as difficult as possible for yourself at all times, right? With a logistics guarantee. It can right? continuously supply the grid. That's what we want to do. That's what I have been doing. Uh, you'll be on charge mode. This is real. I love the animation on this building. It is so cool. It goes into discharge mode. Anyway, stop fucking around with the pieces of equipment and just make a charger. I don't know whether I need accumulators for anything else. Um, so I don't know whether it's worth putting a box of accumulators down. Maybe have a box down with just like one stack. Just for reasons, basically. And then on the other side, just need to watch out for this thing's hitboxes. They are super, super weird. And then that, you can make me four stacks, which is four, uh, what's it called? Four gas giant harvesters in one go. I know hopefully it will be enough 
And you want to make me accumulators, which are building. There we are. And then iron. Uh, I'm actually going to keep on the one level up, just so it doesn't mess up anything else. And you just need those super magnets, which we plumbed in, I just didn't hook up. So you want to be super magnets, you'll be keep 400, 500 in stock, local supply, remote supply, oh yeah. Sorted. And then we have accumulators charging up, so we can make gas giant harvesters. The gas giant harvester is going to bring in fire ice and hydrogen. The fire ice we are going to make into graphene, which I kind of need to make over here. Guess we could do it going that way. We fine, right? We don't have time. Two outs. I think that is uh, time for a coffee break though. Go and get some uh, brown gravel water. And uh, take a take a short five minute five minute ish break. So I will be back in in about five minutes. Once actually I, I'll pause it. I was gonna say I'll I'll let it accumulate some charged accumulators, but I'll actually pause it, so. We shall be back in five minutes.